Hey, you know, to all the vegans, I'm sorry. Young heifer. Probably a little over a year old. Oh, okay. And in about two years, she'll be dead. She'll be dead. No, no, no. She will have babies. No, the females, oh, okay. I don't butcher. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, keep having calves. See the one Here's in the back. Here's our piggery yeah. area. This was an old concrete slab from the military time. Ah, and um, it, U.S. military. Yes. Oh, okay. And it happened, I think, to be a cafeteria. So ah. this was the mess hall. The guys, the showers were back there. They, the trucks would just hit the showers right after the showers. The new trucks would come this way, unload them to the chow, now, and then head off to. What? Tents. What was the significance of this location? Well, why did they need okay, barracks? This location was. There were 30,000 servicemen camped out on this area right along here. Okay. To support the building of Isley Field okay. during got right it, got after they captured. So it. this is like cool. 30,000 people were living here. Excellent. And excellent. Just, can you imagine this? This concrete was poured 1944, maybe in the the fall of 1944, and just after they captured the place and still holding up oh yeah i'm i'm making good use of it so this is what we have bro. we can look around these are piglets oh, that are yeah. ready for market those size those are mm -hmm. just the right size for customers i think so, i mentioned you know? to you when i was growing up in jamaica my grandfather had pigs mm -hmm. and so, one cow the boar Mm -hmm. and then breathing, and then so just for those of you who are not familiar, uh, Pat invited me to watch the slaughter of a pig because he knows I'm vegan. So uh, <laughs> I think that, that'll ensure you're going to be vegan for the next five years. I think after this, there's another. These are all sows that are different uh, levels of breeding. And these are two new ones. Are, this guy is the one that's gonna go. Oh, okay. The white one right there, facing that way. Yeah, right, got it. Yep. That's the right size for for someone's Christmas for. Uh, we got still got two months till Christmas. <laughs> Again, these are all just different stages of breeders. So generally, the, the one you showed me, mm -hmm. uh, how old is that one? These roughly? are like about five months. Okay. And the so one these are these are all roasting size. This is what we yeah. consider. So people gauge okay. it. How big of your part? Okay. I want a big roast or a small roast. That's what oh. we go from there. Oh, here's another one. Like here's a big roast. Yeah, that's a nice one right there. That, there that would be it for a real big party. Is there any that, difference to the taste of the meat? Uh, uh, that, that, probably around. 50 to 75 pound carcass weight would be about because the, the skin is not so thick okay. as they age then the, the skin gets thicker and how old would that be roughly? Uh, i'd say six maybe eight months down is still roasting anywhere from four to eight months that's all that's, yeah that's pretty young yeah that's it wow. I mean, uh, these guys short, that, short unhappy so, life. <laughs> well, this is billy billy's my butcher and yes sir he, he does a lot of roasting for people. In fact, this morning he roasted one. And in a week, sometime, what, five? Five to more? Three to five? And no, it, it all varies on the customers. Mm -hmm. but for Christmas, that demand is going to be sometimes. I can't imagine. You're like, no more. I cannot take any more. Like, no, I can't. It, it's just. So let me ask you a question. I noticed they already started playing the Christmas music in all the yeah. stores. How soon p do people start putting in their orders for Christmas? They're already putting in their orders now. Hey, okay. make sure I want to... Oh, so you already have some of these yeah. earmarked yeah. for certain already, people. Like, I got right. four that are saved mm -hmm. out of this group that they're purchased already. And how do you, just curious, how do you tag them? Just from memory? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So normally what I do is the males, you want to sell first okay. because the right. females... It doesn't matter as they grow bigger, the, the quality of the meat stays the, roughly yeah. the same. A male that's getting big mm -hmm. starts to have a boar taste, boar smell, you know, like a... Okay, okay. Some people don't like that. 
to the meat. And the meat, yeah. When it's cooked, even when it's cooked. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's why first get rid of the milk. So even if they're getting big, the females don't have that boar smell. That's just part of it. Okay. So what he's gonna do? Uh, Are you ready? Yes, sir. He's gonna knock it, stun it over, and then it's gonna uh, bleed it. Okay. Collect the blood for the, uh, what do you call that? No. I guess in Spanish, menudo, us, is fritada. The Filipinos is deniguan. It's the same stuff. It's the innards mixed with blood. Oh, okay. It's, uh, you know, like the liver and the tripe, intestine. Tripe, tripe and the yeah. intestines and all, all, all that. that. The heart. They, let me get the container for the blood. Oh, you don't have vinegar? There's some there. What, what's the vinegar for? It's uh, to anti-coagulants. Uh, Otherwise, it's gonna gel, and they like it for cooking the uh, right. We bring it out here, no, and knock it here. Is the mama gonna fight you? You wanna get the I got the wall. Yep. Looking worried already. And the uh, vinegar is so that it, it's an uh, anticoagulant. <clears throat> you see how fast it gelled? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. All right. Now, now we can seal that and then save it. That's the first thing is the testicles. A lot of times they even, if it's a bigger one, ejaculate it and take out whatever sperm that's in the thing in the sacks to get rid of a, a boar smell. So, yeah, because if it's, you know, like as you were cutting it out, it might cut and, or, right, you know, right. or, or you pull the, the uh, penis sack when you're mm -hmm. cutting it out. With, and it gets yeah. over the meat and it's right. okay. So that's meat quality. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Wow. And it's just a little bit of water mm -hmm. to just soften up the skin and loosen up the hair. So in a roast, that's what you do first. So all wanna, we're doing now is just uh, scraping off the yeah, hair. Th just scraping out the hair and a little bit of skin that's, and then it'll be that nice the white, color, white color color skin. skin. Okay. And then the water, the mm -hmm. hot water, mm -hmm. it's, um, you want it at a temperature that's kind of- uh, Not boiling? Not too hot and not too cold. Okay. Otherwise, you could actually, once you cook the skin, then it it has a hard time coming off rather than making it easier. If the water is too, too hot, hot too then hot. Skin, then the fur might actually take too long to come. Yeah, it'll actually have a hard time you know, coming off. Mm -hmm. All right, so when is your customer coming to pick this up? Uh, I got to call him by 5 o'clock. Oh, here's another everything's one. going to happen today. Yeah, look at that. Billy also. Here's a bigger one that we butchered. Mm -hmm. See that? Okay. He's using a torch to get the remaining hairs. All right. So, so now just tell me what the next, just roughly what the next couple of steps are before you uh, release it out, to the audience. Take out the rest release of the, the skin. Customer. Mm -hmm. And then after that, he would um, torch it mm -hmm. to remove any stray hairs. Okay. Then uh, also the knuckles. Remove those out. Okay. And then gutting after that. And now Pat is just doing some cosmetic cleaning. 
just to uh, make it look. When it's roasted, a lot of this just gets toasted in the fire. Yeah. Still, so I like it, you know, delivered to the customer nice and clean. Right. The, right now, it's still not done. It is still with the uh, getting the skin all prepared. Mm -hmm. Then afterwards, he's gonna gut it out, take out all the insides, heart, liver, lungs, intestine, everything, um, and then the bladder sac. Afterwards, wash it all out and let, let it drip. Uh, they're going to chill it overnight because the party's going to be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, uh, they're going to take it out and prepare it uh, for roasting. And how they would do that is they would take, um, uh, some people like lemongrass as a stuffing. So they'd get like a wad of, you know, a whole bunch of lemongrass and wad it up and put it inside. And then uh, sew it back. And then uh, they would put a pipe skewer right through from front to back. <laughs> Doesn't that, that look, look good? Delicious. Doesn't that look pretty, Walt? <laughs> My God. See? Amazing. Actually, it does. It, it, it's a nice, 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 beautiful pig. About how much does that weigh? This weighs, um, I would say, 90, 100 pounds, this one? The, the lightweight? Yeah. About 100? Uh, yeah. Is all the blood out or is more? Uh, there, there's some inside that probably is uh, coagulated already. Oh, uh, okay. If we need some more, we can scoop that up. Need like some more what? Already. If you need some more. Oh, of For, the... Because yeah. sometimes they don't bleed as well. You know, sometimes okay. they... How this guy bled a lot. Okay. Other times when, especially the big ones, we can't really pick her up or, you know, make him okay. a angle, angle so that, right. yeah, the gravity will have all that come out. So, you know. And one thing to note, mm -hmm. and Billy can confirm this, is that also the health of a pig, mm -hmm. you can, when you take out the insides, you can tell if it's a healthy pig or it's not a healthy pig. Yeah. By? By the color, good, uh, color of the liver. Not in the pig. Yeah. Very good duck. Yeah. I'll show you when he takes it right, out and then right. you can see the liver. Mm -hmm. I don't have a comparison of what a dirty liver looks like, yeah. but Small they just say it looks... If you can imagine like an alcoholic's liver, the right. psoriasis in the, right? That's what they call it, no? psoriasis of the liver? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. That's what uh, an un unhealthy pig would have also. The liver would be basically, you know, like whitish and blackish, brownish, like all kinds of multicolored in a sense. Different That's from the liver one. we're looking at there, yeah, right? this one. Smooth, this one is very really smooth, smooth right? This mm -hmm. whole, yeah. yeah. That's large intestine, yeah, small intestine. Small intestine, yeah. So this one, all he's going to cut out is the gallbladder because that one has a stinky, Where is that? bitter bile right there. That's the gallbladder. Yeah, right there's the gallbladder. Yeah. Now, the Filipinos take this mm -hmm. and mix it with their food. They, uh, there's a dish they call papaitan. Okay. They actually use the bile from the duct, the uh, gallbladder. So when we take this out, a lot of times, even for the cows, we would tie it. Or put it in a separate bag so it doesn't so it right. doesn't mix with the other stuff and also that they use it when they make their soup this is like the final ingredient they put the bile in what's going on here this is the uh, intestine yeah i know large but and looks, small it looks uh, oh, puffy is, is, is there just, no, just, air? just air okay just air. Nothing, nothing unusual but that's the thing again the side of a, a nice world all of this is going down the side of a nice liver is that you know this Perfect color. Yeah. Yeah. If it's comparison, this is what it would look like actually if it was no good. Yeah. Oh, okay. It would have this color. You see the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One hard, the one yeah. Good. And also, it, it actually you can see it's tearing apart. Start to break apart. Yeah. Right. Very you know, nice. Oh, there's some so there should be some undigested food yes. in, yeah, inside there. Yes, yes. What are you going to do with that? Oh, they clean it up. But the, customer, the customer. Really. Yeah, I'm okay. just going to put it in a bag and give it to them. Okay. Yeah. Good luck. I, that's beyond our uh, scope. No? Oh, 
Next step is just put in the chill, clean mm. this a little bit, and wait for the customer. They're coming to pick it up. Now, I, I know you raise healthy animals, but if there was like some parasite infection, how would you, how would you recognize it here? Uh, not so much parasite. No? I don't think you would see parasite. What would we have to worry about? Uh, well, if it's like the liver was bad, right. we just won't use it. Oh. I mean, it's a throwaway. The, the liver, but but the, the pig itself you would still sell. Yeah, of course, <laughs> but the, the meat is fine. Right, right, it's okay. The liver that, and for me, I never eat any, if any animal of mine that dies naturally, or for whatever cause, that, mm -hmm. that you know, I don't know what killed it, mm -hmm. there's no way I'm going to eat it myself. I mean, some people say, hey, it's still good. You want it? Take it. But I won't, I wouldn't eat it or sell would it. I sell it. Right, right. I, that, that's just me. You have ice? No. They're just going to pick it up okay. and bring it to the chill. So, uh, here, no? Everything put in here? So now we're cleaning up. That was the our adventure, thanks to Pat Calvo. For inviting us to his farm and showing us... Uh, we're already in the Christmas season here on Saipan, so that he's getting orders from different customers for pigs to roast. So we just witnessed a, a slaughter and gutting of a five-month-old uh, pig. Some entrails that one of the dogs is running away with. So thank you, Mr. Calvo. You're very welcome. Thank you for, for the coming invite. And thank you, sir. You're the only <laughs> vegan that has come <laughs> to watch a, a slaughter process. I, I'm. Uh, what do you call that? Thanks for the invite. Yeah, really, I, I never thought that you would take an interest. In oh, well, you know, I'm a grew up on a farm, or at least I like to think I did in Jamaica. So. Yeah. These are brand new. Was it nothing? Thing? Hold on. Vegan part is a is a recent choice, not a <laughs> not the way I was raised. Island boy, no. Yeah. I'll save the zombie bull and marine story for a sequel, perhaps. But uh, the customer came, picked up their uh, a pig, and headed off into the sunset, and that's how I spent my Sunday afternoon. Thanks for watching. You know, your comments and your likes um, and watching the videos till the end really does help. So it uh, lets YouTube know that you enjoyed the video and then they'll recommend it to others. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.